Welcome friends to This is Carol Robertson. For over 35 years, Carol has been lifting up Christ in word and song. Here's evangelist Carol Robertson. Thank you, David, and welcome to the program this week. You know, when we continue studying the miracles of Christ, it teaches us many things. It teaches us how to study the Bible contextually. We learn a lot about the Jewish customs in Jesus' time. It teaches us what we really have in Christ and who He really is. And it gives us just a glimpse of what we're going to have one day when we meet Christ. I love studying the miracles, and we're going to continue that this week in Luke chapter 5. First, let's praise the Lord in music, and I'll be right back in Luke chapter 5. A little more each day I want to have more faith When I kneel to pray I'm going to live more like my Lord I'm going to sing a different tune Because I know that my Lord is a coming soon I want to love my neighbor and help others along the way I want to be watching for him to come this very day I want to do more for my Lord morning, night and noon because I know that my Lord is a coming soon coming soon signs are everywhere that soon I'll be going home I want to be ready when I hear that trumpet blow I'm going to change the way I live I'm going to sing a different tune because I know that my Lord is a coming soon That soon I'll be going home I want to be ready When I hear that trumpet blow I'm going to change the way I live I'm going to sing a different tune Because I know that my Lord is a coming soon Because I know that my Lord is a coming soon because I know that my Lord is a coming soon. Coming soon. Let's begin in Luke chapter 5, beginning in verse number 1, and let's, let's give a little introduction to this beautiful miracle. Luke chapter 5, verse number 1, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Again, this is one of my favorite miracles, being at the Sea of Galilee almost about 35 times over the years. That's my favorite place in the whole wide world. And I love this miracle. Let me give you a little setting here. People were coming to hear Jesus teach because no one had ever taught like Christ. And he was at the Lake of Gennesaret. Don't be confused. The Lake of Gennesaret, that's called three or four names in the four Gospels. Sometimes it's the Lake of uh, Sea of Tiberias. Sometimes it's the Sea of Galilee. Sometimes it's uh, the Lake of Canaret which comes from the Hebrew word kenor, that's a harp, because the Sea of Galilee is shaped like a harp. And Jesus borrowed Simon Peter's boat and taught the people on the shore. 
And guess what? The Sea of Galilee and the mountains around it are like a natural amphitheater. And the voice carries seven times more on the water than it does on the land. Jesus didn't need a microphone. Thousands of people on the shore could hear what Jesus had to say. We tested it one time ourselves, and I was teaching on the water on the Sea of Galilee, and people could hear me hundreds and hundreds of feet away. So here's the setting. Multitude of people on the shore, Jesus teaching from the boat, and now we're fixing to get into the real miracle. And don't you dare miss it. Let's go to another song. How about your heart? Is it right with God? Would you ask Christ in today? Is it black with sin? Or is it pure within? Would you ask Christ in to stay? People often see you as you are outside. Jesus really knows you, for he looks inside. How about your heart? Is it right with God? That's the thing that counts to Your heart were made with a window on each side so that all could see what you really are and there was nothing you could hide people often see you as you are outside Jesus really knows you for he looks inside how about your heart is it right with God that's the thing that counts Oh yes, that's the thing that counts today. Luke chapter 5, beginning in verse number 4. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Just a few little points here. Do you know why they fished at night in Jesus' time? Because all they had was cotton fishing nets and the fish could see the nets in the daytime. So they did all their fishing at night. So Jesus is doing, asking them to do something totally contrary to what was the custom of the fishermen in, in, in his time. They didn't have monofilament nylon line like we do today. Another point here. Notice it says here that they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. The reason the word fishes is plural there 
is because it was several different kinds of species of fish in the net. Or it would have been just the word fish. And notice also it says here that the ship was about to sink. You know why? Because the little boats in Jesus' time were about 27, 28 feet long, and they were made out of 10 different types of wood so that they would be a natural live well. The bottom of the little ships would hold water so the fish could stay alive until they got back to shore. So the boat began to fill up with water and began to fill up with fish so much that it began to sink. Stay tuned, it gets better. Here's another song for you. Don't worry when you see the wicked prosper in this life. It's best to have a little bread than a house to be filled with strife. If we will commit our way and trust the Lord and obey His mercy, we'll never depart. Delight thyself in the Lord and you will find the desires of your heart. We brought nothing into this world is certain we will leave it all behind. But if we use our life for Jesus, true happiness we will find. He takes care of the sparrow, and on this road that's narrow, don't let worry tear your joy apart. Delight thyself in the Lord, and you will find the desires of your heart. Delight thyself in the Lord, receive more than you're asking for upon you, His face will shine. If you will seek His face and His kingdom you will embrace, His peace will never depart. Delight thyself in the Lord and you will find the desires of your Delight thyself in the Lord, and you will find the desires of your heart. Carol's music has blessed and encouraged believers around the world since the 1980s. He has recorded well over 600 songs. Some of the music that you're hearing today is from the newest CD, The Story of Life, which contains some powerful ministry songs, plus songs that will lift up your spirits and bring joy into your heart. The story of life is a glorious thing. Way up in the sky, His love can lift you high. I know who it is, and I'm gonna tell. His name is Jesus, who I know well. And what a day that will be when Jesus will see, and there will be forevermore. You can have any three of Carol's musical CDs for a gift to the ministry of only $30, or any 15 CDs for $125, plus shipping and handling. And when you call, ask about our quantity specials for Carol's entire musical library. Call 1-800-523-3228. That's 1-800-523-3228. Or visit us at carolroberson.com. And thank you again for helping us to keep these programs going into the hearts of people everywhere. There's just one God who made everything. With the rise of replacement and reform theology being taught in many churches and colleges today, 
And with so much misguided anti-Semitism, Carol's newest book, Israel, Blessing, Tribulation, Glory, is a must read. After thousands of hours of research and traveling to Israel for over 30 years, Brother Carol helps you better understand the past, present, and future of Israel from a biblical and historical perspective. Carol brings out many unusual truths, like the story of Israel written in the stars. Who does the land of Israel really belong to according to the Bible? Why are the Muslim nations trying to annihilate Israel? Are these nations mentioned in the Bible? Who is Hamas? Who is Hezbollah? Are we close to the great tribulation period that the Bible and Jesus talk about? With most of Israel still in unbelief, why should Bible-believing Christians support Israel? Israel, blessing, tribulation, glory, is now available in a beautiful hardback extra-large print edition for a gift to the ministry of only $40. Please call 1-800-523-3228. That's 1-800-523-3228. Or visit our website at carolrobertson.com. Order your copy today. Carol has written and recorded many songs with the message and sounds of Israel on three different CDs, Memories of the Galilean, Only One Messiah, and Jesus is Real. Carol and Donna have also filmed a major DVD in Israel entitled Jesus is Real. You can have the entire set for a gift to the ministry of only $50. Call 1-800-523-3228 and get yours while quantities last. Luke chapter 5, beginning in verse number 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John and the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, 
From henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. What was it that made Simon Peter feel so sinful and fall down in front of Jesus? He realized that Jesus truly, truly was the Son of God. And how would you feel if he was in a little, little boat and you realized that God was standing in your boat? Simon Peter realized next to Jesus how sinful he really is. You know, folks, when we see Jesus, we're going to realize how sinful we are too. And Jesus used this miracle to teach them. And he said, Simon, one day you're going to catch men. I looked up the interlinear Bible on, on word studies on this miracle. And the word catch there is very, very intriguing. The word catch is zogrero, and it means to make alive. When they caught fish, they would eventually kill them. But when they caught men, they would make them alive. People are dead in trespasses and sins. But when we catch them in the gospel net and they believe in Jesus, Christ makes them alive. And this miracle was also a glimpse of what was going to happen. Because when Simon Peter preached on the day of Pentecost, thousands of people accepted Christ as their personal Savior. And sometimes Peter gets overlooked by Paul. Peter was the leader of the disciples, and Peter became one of the greatest preachers the world has ever known. And he became a great fisher of men. And I pray that you too will become a great fisher of men. Don't you just love this miracle? And now here's another song for you. Living is so hard With the trials of each day But some glad tomorrow Will never be alone Sadness fills our heart With memories of yesterday But some glad tomorrow Will be going home Some glad tomorrow Jesus we will see Some glad tomorrow like Him we will be Well done, faithful servant I want to hear Him say Some glad tomorrow Some glorious day Sometimes we grow weary And our faith seems so small But some glad tomorrow Our faith will turn to sight I miss my loved ones I see their pictures on the wall but some glad tomorrow We'll never say goodbye Some glad tomorrow Jesus we will see Some glad tomorrow Like Him we will be Well done, faithful servant I want to hear him say Some glad tomorrow Some glorious day Well done, faithful 
servant I want to hear him say Sun glad tomorrow Sun glorious day May the good Lord bless and keep you Whether near or far away May you find the peace of Jesus In your heart today May your troubles all be small ones And your fortunes Ten times ten May the good Lord Bless and keep you Till we meet Again May you walk With God's light shining And a bluebird In every tree May there be A silver lining Behind every cloud you see Fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows Never mind what might have been May the good Lord bless and keep you Till we meet again May you walk And the bluebird in every tree May there be a silver lining Behind every cloud you see May your troubles all be small ones And your fortunes ten times ten May the good Lord Bless and keep you Till we meet Till we meet Again We trust that the program was a blessing to you this week. You can follow Brother Carol on Facebook, YouTube, or download our free Carol Robertson Ministries app. And thank you for your prayers and financial support to keep these programs on the air. You may write to us at Carol Robertson Ministries, 203 South Clayton Street, Ripley, Mississippi, 38663. Our ministry website is simply carolrobertson.com. Until next week, may others see Christ in you is our prayer.